Earthquakes are one of nature's most devastating events. They occur when a large buildup of stress within Earth's crust is suddenly released. Why does this happen? The answer is elastic rebound theory. Elastic rebound theory explains how energy is stored in rocks and released by earthquakes. This energy is transferred through rocks, causing them to move, which we experience as an earthquake. Earth's crust is made of giant plates of rock that float on the underlying mantle and slide past each other. The plates grind against each other along their edges, in areas called fault zones. There is friction between the plates where they meet. This means that the plates don't slide freely. Instead, the rocks deform, straining until the stress is more than the rocks can handle. Suddenly, the energy stored in the deformed rock is released in the form of heat and seismic waves. The strained rocks suddenly resume their undeformed state. The whole process is called elastic rebound theory. It's like stretching out a rubber band. As increasingly more deforming force is applied, the band becomes more distorted. If the force continues, the band will break, and the stored energy will be suddenly released. Similarly, Earth's crust stores elastic stress that gradually builds up until its sudden release during an earthquake. Elastic rebound theory explains how earthquakes result in ground movement and why they most often occur on fault lines. Elastic rebound theory provides scientists with a model that allows them to forecast the probability and severity of an earthquake in a fault zone where they have sufficient historical information. The well-studied San Andreas Fault that runs through California is located where the North American plate slides past the Pacific Plate. Researchers of the San Andreas Fault have determined that sections of the fault have accumulated sufficient strain to produce a major earthquake in the near future.